open workouts today here in Vegas. Just setting up behind me now. Let's go check out the boys do their thing in front of the fans here at the MGM Grand. Mate, flight week's here, a couple of days away from, from a world title fight. How are the nerves? Uh, look, nerves are normal. Uh, they're actually really good at the moment. I'm, I'm soaking it all in. Uh, usually I'm in Melbourne at uh, a local stadium, but I'm at T-Mobile and you know the MGM in Vegas. It doesn't get much better than this, and I'm just super grateful for the opportunity. What specifics has Nanito Donaire brought to your game? Uh, we can't say too much, but um, he's added in all areas. You know, like I mentioned earlier, physically, mentally, emotionally. Um, you know, he's a very spiritual fighter, and um, you know, he worked on the mind a lot for this fight. And he just tells me, win, lose, or draw, it is what it is, man. It's in God's hands. So, you know, even though just hearing those words, it's it's actually comforting. You know, we're going there to make a statement. We're going there to upset the world champion. But um, yeah, he's been he's been a huge huge role in this fight. What's it going to mean when you get your hand raised on the weekend? Oh man, it's going to mean absolutely everything to me. Like I mentioned, it's you know this fight's for my sister. Uh, you know she's battling for her life and she's fighting for her life, and uh, she's my best she's my best mate. You know to see that happen is um, you know it's super sad. But uh, winning this is you know it's going to mean absolutely everything for me, for her, and um, for Australia. What specifics have you been working on with him? Well, the thing is, a lot of things that I work on is mine. I believe that the mind is the greatest power that you have. You know, I, I train him to the to the limit when it comes to physical. But you're only gonna be as good as your mind is, no matter how strong you are physically. So to, to enhance his physical and then enhance his mind, I believe this is the best Michael Zarapa you'll see. It's also talking of his his fundamentals being a you know a big strength for him in this fight. His fundamentals. Oh, oh, this is his fundamentals. He goes this way, gets punched in the face. He goes this way, gets punched in the face. He, he goes boom, 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 boom. That, those are his fundamentals. And I, ain't, ain't nobody gonna take, take my opinion off of that one. So you don't, are you, are you underestimated at all? His high guard and that he tucks his chin real well. As basic as it is, that it's a little harder to hit than, than it looks. No, 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 it's not that he tucks his chin, he just has no neck. He's just like, that's just his, his, his head. Last time I spoke with you, you said it's because of the threesomes. How are you feeling? Two, three at a time, tropical islands. I, mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been having a good time. But, you know, right now, you know, it's all seriousness. I'm in camp, you know, so I, I, I can't be having as much fun. But, you know, after this fight, I'm sure in hell gonna have a lot more fun. Final prediction for the fight, brother? 30, 40 seconds, about. Yeah, I, I, do, I do my best work in about 30, 40 seconds. I feel like the hard advantage is something that the team is going to struggle to overcome. Uh, we'll see. You know, uh, I'm sure he or he hasn't fought a, a person my height, so it definitely could be different. But I'm not focused on using my height for this fight. Well, of course I have to, but I'm focused on just my strategy and what I want to do to win and become successful in this fight. You haven't fought since that loss to, to Mendoza. Are there any doubts for you that you need to? Any questions that you need to answer of yourself in the rings against him? I know exactly what I did wrong in that last fight. I put my hands down, I leaned forward. Big no-nos in boxing, you know. Uh, uh, so much of a mistake that if you make those mistakes, that costs you the whole fight. I felt comfortable, I felt I was winning that fight the whole time. Of course, I made that mistake and it paid for. But uh, uh, other than that, I know what I have, I know what I can do in the ring, and I know I've become um, Saturday night, I, I could become a world champion. Well, 12 days ago, I mean, you were fighting for the, the, the interim belt. All of a sudden, now you're in a unification fight. I mean, what's that experience? Did the last couple of days been like getting your head around that? I was already happy about fighting for a world championship. You know, the, the vacant WBC was a big deal already, uh, but now they add the WBO to it. So, this is, uh, uh, we're fighting for the crown at 154. This, this fight right here will, will concrete who's the best at 154 right now. This is the very top of the mountain that you find yourself at right now. Where's your headspace? In uh, at home. I feel, I feel zoned in. I feel great. I feel this is uh, yeah. I feel this is where I belong. You know, you work all all your life for these moments. I gotta say, just interviewing Sebastian before, I know he's got the hype, but there's not a lot of. It. You must feel like you can physically overpower him, given you're probably gonna put on 10 or 12 kilo after weighing. Yeah, we'll see what he, well, what there is. You know, like tall. But, you know, the, the the weight's not evenly distributed, you know, it's, it's, it's quite lengthy, so it's, yeah, it's different. Uh, hopefully I'm, I'm able to break him. You have battled the last three or four guys you fought. Um, do you see a world in which 
you don't do the same thing to Sebastian Fondura because you aren't necessarily a guy that stops somebody with one punch. You beat them down and you break them. No, this will be this will be the something new. This is a one punch this knockout. Is, this will be the newest one. Yeah. What's it going to feel like when they say "and you" with that WBC belt? It's one of the most famous belts in boxing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It'll be look. It'll be a good feeling, but the show goes on. On to the next. You know how it is. We wake up the next day and we we'll keep on going. If you could just pick an opponent for you, if you get past Fondura, there's talk about Crawford. I know you've always wanted Alvarez. Yeah. If you could just find a guy, and you, regardless of negotiations, you get him, who would it be? Oh, if I could pick anyone to yeah. fight? Um, Terence Crawford. It's, it's the Crawford fight. Yeah, definitely, because uh, he's pound for pound best. How are you doing the weight? You, I got away in tomorrow, you look pretty comfortable. Yeah, I'm good right now. I'm good. Uh, everything's going according to plan. Feel any kind of added pressure to, to get a knockout with this big stage first fight in Vegas? No, there's there's no added, not not really any added pressure. Um, I know what I possess. Uh, when it comes, it will come. So yeah, just that. Uh, just got to be patient, I guess.